could you could be a politician, politician, Andrew. You totally could. I have no interest in doing it. Why? It's it, you're just a pawn for these billion dollar corporations. Uh, but what if you're a billionaire like too. Trump yeah. and you're, you're not a pawn? That's the craziest thing about Trump is that he's wealthy and still wants to do it. That's ridiculous. That's it's, fucking insane. The, it's ridiculous or this is going to sound crazy. And it's going to get clipped. Blah, 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 I don't give a fuck. It's crazy or he's somebody who's going, ugh, this is going to shit. He's either all, I need power. I have all the money in the world. The money's boring. I want power. So he's just going to get the power or I have all the money in the world. I have all the power in the world because I tell these politicians what to do anyway. And I genuinely think the wrong people are in charge and I'll do something about it. Hmm. Because there's no reason you would have all the money in the yeah, world. Yeah, that's so noble. That's so noble. Why the fuck would you do that? Most likely the first one. It's most likely the first <laughs> yeah. one. I'm bored. No, it, no, no. I want power now. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Who we, would subject themselves yeah. to that type of shit? Yeah, it sucks. Being, being in that position has got to be the most horrible thing on the planet. Yeah. That's horrible. So here's the question. You got all the fame that you've ever wanted, right? Me? Yeah. There's no more fame you could get. You fought Floyd. Every it's that's it. You he reached can go it. Up. He can go up. You could you could go up in. You could fluctuate. You can't just sustain. Everybody can't just sustain. Uh, Tom Cruise, the most famous person in the world, when Maverick comes out, and then nobody talks about him six I months see, later. I see. So it just goes up and down. You felt the top, right? Yeah, okay, Let's, okay. I'm not trying to fluff. I'm just saying that I, you felt it, right? Is it after you go? Okay, I felt the top. Is is, are you motivated by money now? Because you're like, all right, I already got all the fame and I'm kind of, it doesn't make me feel any different. Let me see if all the money in the world makes me different. No, make me feel no, different. I, I, at one point I was motivated by goals. Goals really. But have those goals shifted to financial ones? No, I just want to be happy and do what I love. Which is? Mm, I, I guess the answer would always just come back to entertain. And create and create. Like Create like, is very important because the bar for entertaining is getting very low. <laughs> Which is why I'm good at what I do. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 see, this is the thing that like, and that's why I, I sometimes I'll reference the 99 originals thing. Like I was like, oh, he's making art. This is art. When I fall back fully from social media, which will happen, and I no longer subject my life to the commentary of strangers, because that's a weird phenomenon that like any person in the limelight understands like that's just so like everyone just can say whatever they want about your life it's yeah. it's, it's it's wild but it's what we signed up for so sure. okay yep. i'm here now i'm gonna do it but when i fall back finally i'm gonna i'm gonna do art i'm gonna do art i don't think as logan paul i'm just gonna fucking make art and the 99 originals was art thanks bro i love that project and i'll be shifty ba I'll be back. shifty put me on to that i'll be back i'll be doing more bro like i really love that shit it was these tiny little stories that were great yeah. they were delicious yeah. they were nutritious and by nutritious i mean like you could really clearly see that there is like a, a story in there but yeah. also art and i'm not against doing things for mainstream consumption because i think that's great but i think that Right now, what you're seeing, especially with like streaming culture, is it is so unbelievably entertaining. But the only way to entertain every second of the day is to create a car crash. And now there's no art whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. And I consume it. Mm -hmm. I looked at I was watching this guy Fusi, right? Who oh, I remember like dog. back in your generation of YouTubers, he was there. And he comes back now and he's like, all over my Instagram or TikTok algorithm. And I'm watching it, I'm going, this is the most entertaining thing I've ever seen. When he's around other people that stream, none of them talk, because they know that there's one person that is gonna get all the gravity. But at the same time, it's car crash every single time. There's not enough art. And that is what you have to do when you have to entertain 12 hours in a row. You cannot create art, because art requires reflection, it requires thought, it requires passion and love. A car crash doesn't. So it's, how do I create a car crash every single moment? And my concern is that there are people who started their careers with real art and they were beautiful creators that now are part of the streaming economy and have gone to an addiction of attention and completely disregarded their artistic side, which they fucking had. Mm -hmm. and, and they were like beautiful creators, beautiful creators. And now they're just like, Okay, this is the latest guy who's hot. I'll be involved in the car crash with him. This is the latest guy who's hot. I'll be involved with the car crash with him. 
I guess the reason why I want to talk to you about that specifically is that I don't think that you've devolved to the car crash. And I hope you don't because I've seen what you did with the 99 originals and maybe it wasn't your most popular thing, but it was your most beautiful thing. Thanks. So don't do the car crash. <laughs> and, and, and what do you and what do you feel about it? I feel my life is a car crash. <laughs> like I am the car crash. But boxing is art. Uh, uh, no, it's it's a boxing requires skill, requires time, requires patience. It, it's not it's not just boxing. You know, like uh, I think I think you're right. First off, we were talking about this on the way over here. Like we are in a dark time. What is happening? It's a it's a sign of the times. It's what does uh, that mean? I think in the age of media, everything is so oversaturated now. Humans are wired to be attracted to and pay attention to negativity for some reason, more than positivity. We like it's seeing- a biological response. Uh, we like seeing things get fucked up. Yeah. We, like, we like seeing things collapse. We, it's weird to be like, you ever be with someone in the morning who's like, dude, how fucking are you, bro? Good morning, man. Like, shut the fuck up, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. She, that positivity and being- Too much. Uh, all Being about it, uh, um, transpiring it is, is rare, like mm. humans, humans don't, are I think wired that way maybe, I don't know. There's a, fuck, there's a, um, a philosopher. They say that we're drawn to the negativity because it was a, a biological response to keep us safe, right? It's like, if you think that there's a snake over there and you hear some ruffling, I have to pay attention to that because that could save my life. Wow. So now yeah. it's like if yeah. anything is potentially yeah. dangerous, we have this hardwired response yeah. to pay attention to it because it could potentially save our life. Now we're watching th things through screens, but it's playing off of biological impulses from millions totally, of years ago. Mm -hmm. Totally, totally. Yeah. And they use it to make money. Also, and yeah. they use murder it. in the neighborhood, find out more in two hours. It's like, what? You I watch, gotta wait two yeah, hours to this. You, yeah, you, there, you like, ever watch main, like mainstream news, like the news that your parents still style. watch? It's all just fucking killings, murder, shooting, robbery. It's just shit. You wonder why old people poison. get grumpy. They're all grumpy because they're That's all they watch grumpy. is how horrible you the neighborhood is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the neighborhood's going to shit. Well, yeah, every time you turn on the TV, it looks like the neighborhood's going yeah, to yeah, shit. Yeah. Also, San Antonio is not the neighborhood. You know what yeah. I mean? What happens yeah, over there is not the yeah, neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. And also, like, I think we're drawn to the thing that we have least. So most people have a general positive day. I see. So if everybody's just posting about their day, it's like just all positive, boring shit. Mm, yeah. But it's like you have, once somebody actually is like, hey, I'm creating chaos and I'm posting that, mm. it's going to, Bro, it's like- you ever like, watch news in Canada? No. They're like, the penguins in the zoo had a child. <laughs> and you're just like, what the fuck no, is that this? that shit sucks. Yeah, it that's, sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Our it news sucks. is lit. I get that's it. why they're so nice. I get it. Bro, there's a murderer <laughs> on the loose. Yeah, we gotta yeah. get him. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta find him. Of course you're gonna watch that. And I think that's why other countries are obsessed with our news, our politics. They know what the fuck is going on here because it's lit. But I was looking at the, bro, I'm watching the, the Fousey guy and I'm like, holy shit, this is arguably one of the most entertaining individuals I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. While at the same time, I was like, imagine this guy funneled this level of entertainment into an art, like what would that become? Mm. What and it'd be less profitable. It'd be less yeah. profitable, but I think that you would have salvation in it because at the end of the day, you'd go, "Oh wow, I'm really proud of what I put out," despite people enjoying it. And then when people enjoy it, it's the icing on the cake. Mm. Like I imagine, you tell me if I'm wrong, when somebody talked to you about the 99 originals and was like, yo, that shit was, more, does that feel better than a uh, vlog that you put out? A hundred percent. Cause you're proud as fuck. That's about my heart, soul creation from my being. Like that, that project, my most proud project in my life. Like Kevin- Find your art, man. Kevin, Kevin, my videographer slash little bro slash roommate, shot the whole project it was Beautiful. with me, those whole 99 days. He's like, dude, I watched the trailer the other day and I started crying. Like that whole journey yeah. was so, so transformative and like, it, we're in a, Find it's just, your art and lean into it yeah, and get but, addicted to that. Once you have the money to be addicted to your art, lean into that. If you have money and you're still addicted to the attention, your life is going to be miserable 100% guaranteed. But, but it's a leap, it's a leap, and that's scary for a lot of people. Maybe. Like, like that car crash, bro, you know how easy it is to get in your car and run into a fucking wall? Yeah. Versus sitting down, brainstorming, trying to come up with all these ideas, actually executing them to perfection, taking the time to do it, like it just, it's not as, it's not as a. Uh, but then the boxing, cause you asked us earlier, like why get back into the boxing? Cause that's just. But I see boxing is, as art. There is an art, but. What they're doing, no offense, it's not like, hey, we are 
elite boxes. We're no, when just two, like, hey, when two Instagram good bitches are fighting, yeah. that's a car crash. Uh, no bullshit. What I've seen Jake go from, from he's, he's sorry, I said Jake. No, I'm Keep being dead ass. Like what I saw him go from from his first fight to what he's doing now. Phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Yeah. So I'm like, wow, this guy's taking the art seriously. Yeah, yeah. And it's like it's a beautiful thing to fucking see somebody put that type of dedication into their craft. Yeah. So I don't look at it as car crash. Even what I've seen with, um, even what I've seen with uh, uh, some of the, uh, the the fucking. Give me the, some buzzwords or something. No, not even buzzwords. <laughs> it, uh, there's uh, what's the face? You. UFC fighter. I I UFC you. fighter. No, not Sean, but shout out to fucking Sean. Yeah, shout unbelievable, Sean bro. He's the best. Unfucking believable. The best. I can't believe yeah. I'm blanking. No, come on, on this, bro. Right? Come on, who? Who? Just like what do you do? Uh, Stylebender. Is he? Stylebender? Is he? No, 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 no. Whatever. It, 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 it's gonna come to me. Fuck. But my point is, my point is seeing somebody dedicate themselves to a craft in an art is a beautiful thing, and especially when you see the execution of that craft. I love that. I agree. We are drawn to a fight because we're human beings, and if there's a fight anywhere, we're gonna watch it, but at least if there's craft there. Yes, but every single fighter we speak to, they look at it like, hey, I'm in it for this period of time, and I'm looking at my point where I get out of it. But because there's a cost of fighting, yeah, so and the like, cost is the highest. So why take that cost? Like, why? Oh, good question. Yeah, why you put yourself up to that call? I think it's because I am doing what I love. I love to entertain. I love the idea of being a modern day gladiator. That's so fucking cool to me, dude. Because I'm capable of it too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this frame. I got a, 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 a good uh, like base of athletics to like you know do this thing at least a little bit. Yeah. At least a little bit. Enter the showmanship. Enter the entertainment. The build up. The feeling of winning and accomplishing a goal. Like it's all it's all there. Which is why I'll sit here and say, like, I don't want to be a full-time professional boxer. I don't have these dreams of becoming the best boxer in the world because of the cost. I'm not here forever. Yeah. But if I have an opportunity to put out a couple big fights and entertain people, challenge myself, which is half of the, you know, like, I'm not afraid of looking failure in the face. I'm just not. I've done it a hundred times. And, like, when I'm at those lows or highs is when I learned the most about myself and then can take that and become the best person I can.